In Lesson 5 of Module 2, we're going to be talking about how to connect the visual area model for multi-digit multiplication with the standard algorithm. The problem we're going to be using to solve uh, is 23 times 31. Step 1 is you want to draw the area model rectangle. It doesn't matter which way you draw your rectangle, you just want to make sure that you know which numbers are on top and which numbers are on the side. You also might want to make your rectangle big enough to hold your work inside. If you do it too small, you won't have enough room to write your numbers. Step two is you want to designate uh, one of the factors in the problem as the unit. This means that that number is not going to change. You want to think about um, designating your number as which one is going to be easier or harder to use. I usually like to choose the harder to use number or the harder to pull out tens number as a designated number. I'm going to use 23 as my designated number. So at the top of my area model, I'm going to write 23. Step three is a three-step process. So first, you want to take this other unit and you want to break it down into different place values. Here we have a ones place value. So I would have a one. And in the tens place value, I have a three. But because it's in the tens place value, I know that that is 30. I can check my answers to make sure that my decomposition is equal to my actual number. So I have 30 plus 1 equals 31. These two numbers are what I'm going to use to fill in the rest of my area model. The next one is to draw the different sections. Because I have those two numbers, 30 and 1, I know that I'm going to have two different sections. So I'm going to draw one smaller section because I have a smaller number and then a larger section for my larger number. The final step for number three is to add the numbers to this side. So number one, I'm going to add to the side of my area model in the smaller section because it's a smaller number. And then the 30, I'm going to add to the larger section because it is the larger number. So in relating my problem back to my area model, I have 23 times 1 plus 30, which equals 31. The fourth step is to write the problems inside the boxes. So the first box, we're going to bring down our 23. And in area models, we multiply. So we have 23 times 1 from the side and we solve that. So 23 times 1 is 23, because I know any number times 1 is itself. My bigger box is 23 times 30. This one might be a little bit more difficult to solve, but because it's broken down into tens, it makes it a little bit easier. I know that I dropped my zero down, so I've taken care of that, and now I just have 23 times 3. So I can take my 3 and multiply it by the other 3, which is 9, and then take my 3 and multiply it by the 2, which is 6. So my top box is equal to 23, and my bottom box is equal to 690. The final step, 5, for the area model is to add the box values together to get the answer. So my first box value is 23, and my bottom box value is 690. Now when you're setting up your problems, you want to make sure that you're lining up 
those place values, it's very important to keep it straight and make sure you're adding like place value with like place value. So the ones with the ones, the tens with the tens, the hundreds with the hundreds. Now, according to the commutative property, it doesn't matter if you put the 690 on the bottom or the 690 on the top because in multiplication and addition, you can reorder the numbers. So now I solve 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 9 is 11, so I leave the 1, carry the 10, and 1 plus 6 is 7. So my answer 23 times 31 would equal 713. Now we're going to think about relating this area model to the standard algorithm. So step six is you want to set up your standard algorithm right next to your error model so it's easier to see the correlation. So I would do 23 plus 31 plus 7. Step 7 is to solve your standard algorithm. First, you want to take the bottom 1's place here, which just happens to be a 1, and you want to multiply by, by the top number. So 1 times 3 is 3, and then 1 times 2 is 2. Then you want to take the bottom 10's and multiply that by the top, making sure to add that zero because you are now creating a tens. So add the zero here, and then you're taking this three and multiplying it by three, which is nine, and then three times two, which is six. Making sure again that you're lining up those place values. Then we add those two numbers together, which is 3 plus 0 is 3, and 2 plus 9 is 11. We leave the 1 and carry the 10. 1 plus 6 is 7. And finally, step 8 is we want to look at the connections and the similarities between the area model and the standard algorithm. So we just want to draw arrows connecting the like parts. So for example, in our standard algorithm, we have 23 here, which is very similar or exactly the same as our first section of our area model. Our second number, 690, where do you think that is similar? Yep, the big one. So we see that our exact two values from our error model are the same values of our standard algorithm. And then if you take this as a whole here, this whole addition problem is exactly the same as adding the area model values. And we come up with the same answer, 713 and 713.